So I'm gonna show you how to wire up a BMS. I actually have two 16S packs here that I'm going to run in series. But since the batteries are next to each other, I'll show you how I run my wires. So I have them numbered. One, two, three. This is also one, two, three. They're two separate packs. I already did this here. I'm gonna show you how to check the leads before we plug into the BMS. The BMS goes into the charger port. I have another video where I showed you how I got this far right here, okay? So I did one is a negative, goes to the controller, goes to the BMS, this goes to the charger. Number three goes to positive, goes to the controller. It also goes to the charger port. There's your charger, there's your BMS. It gets plugged in like this after you check the leads. But let me show you how to do one to two bricks and then you just do it the two to three. So I already have my leads. I already spliced them, I got them ready. This one here, has 17 wires, but we're only using, I'm sorry, it has 18 wires. So we're just going to leave off the last one because 16S, this BMS uses the black wire for zero. Then it goes one through 16. I'll just leave this one off right here, okay? So let's get started. I have my tools. I use channel lock. Channel lock is the best. They, I mean, these tools just last forever. Okay, so let's start with number one. Okay. All right, you have to count these. If you, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that the order is correct before you plug into your BMS. I'm only gonna do one to two brick, and then you just continue to three. So we'll get the black wire to number one. It, I call this zero, technically it's number one, but this just goes to the, to the negative lead on the BMS. Just to be quick, I just use heat, not like that, okay? And then take this here, I have my heat shrink right here. You see yeah, this is all heat shrunk nice and neat. Doesn't matter what heat shrink you use, as long as it works, as long as there's no sharp edges. Okay. All right, that's one. That's actually zero, and this is one. Okay, and then you have to count it. Go to the next one, okay. You have to count it, okay? This is the next one in order. It absolutely must be in order. There's a way to check to make sure that they're in order before you plug into the BMS. Since I have two batteries here, I'm gonna show you how to check on the, the other battery. So you don't have to wait and watch me do all these. I'll just go from brick number one to brick number two, show you how to use the, the black negative wire to double back on the brick. You do it for every brick that you go to. Each next brick, you have to pair black to the red. I'm gonna show you how to do that. No worries, hang in there. See, we just, we're going right in order. That's why it's nice to do new bricks. There's another way, if, if you don't, if, if the leaves are already cut, you can also check with your multimeter. But this is the easiest way, because they're new.
texture right along here. See, everything's in order. I'm going in order with this lead here, with this one here, it's the same amount of wires. You just wanna make sure you don't miss a wire. If you miss a wire, you can you can check your work, backtrack, but uh, I hope I don't miss any wires. It's always faster just to keep it moving without making mistakes. Counting the wires. Keep everything. Don't make sure you don't skip any wires. Keep checking. This way you can go right in order. It's easier at the end. It's pretty fast. You always got to solder them because uh, it's like glue, right? So it doesn't come loose vibrations from riding and everything you know it's real easy to for a wire to come loose and that would be a real bummer okay now now I'm on my this isn't this is a 6s brick this is number seven it's it's red what I'm gonna do is from one to two you do this going from two to three each time you move up a brick you take the red wire and then you take the black wire and then they have to pair together now if if it sparks up, you know there's something wrong. But mine are in order, that's why I numbered it from one to two, and then from two to three, etc. Okay. So you just wanna make sure it doesn't spark, right? That means it's correct, the same voltage. This is how you series batteries, okay? And you only do this when you go from one to two, and then two to three, etc. If you're doing five bricks, you have to do it each for each brick. Okay. And that's how you do it, right? And then when you get to the end, I already did the second brick right next to each other, so this way I can just get right to it, right? You, you know, you know how you can just keep going from. Uh, you just keep going in order. You see, you keep counting the wires. You do it in order. From. Uh, when you go from two to three, it'll be this, this red wire here to this black wire that, that you pair together. Because that's how you series it, right? Okay. Now, since this one's already finished, one, two, three, right? I'm going to show you how I check it. You get your multimeter, right? You, got, you have to stick the... You have to stick the negative the black to the negative like that, right? You have to figure out how to make it stay because it's frustrating when it doesn't stay, right? Okay, so I don't know if you can see that now, right? All right. So I go to my leads, right? And as you can see, it, it, it plugs in this way, right? To the BMS, but you have to flip it over and you have to check it. See, number one doesn't do anything because that's number one, right? So you go to this one and next one over and it says four and then you keep climbing it. And as it climbs, you see it goes up four volts each time. You see how it keeps, see, so I'm checking my work before I plug it into the BMS. Now you just want to keep making sure that it climbs whatever the volts are. It just has to keep going up, whether it's 3.7 or 4.2 or mine's 4. Point, you know, 4.0. So it just keeps going up. 32, see, 36, right? It's hard to do this with the camera, but okay. So you just keep checking your work. See, so everything is fine, right? So once you do that, 
you have to go right to the end, all right? I didn't go to the end because I already checked my work. Now the BMS gets wired. This is B, right? It's under the tape, but this is B. So you go from number one brick, it goes to your controller, it goes to the BMS, and then C goes out, and this will go to your charger, okay? Once you solder this in, okay, you have when you plug this in, you have to do it in order. You have to do this step last. If any of these numbers are wrong, this will smoke up and you'll burn out your BMS. I already checked mine. Anytime you do work on your battery, you always want to unplug these leads, but I already checked all that, right? So there you go, right? I, I left this, this last wire here was left off because it has 18 wires and you only need 17 wires to do a 16 SBMS because the black one is zero. And then you count all the way up to 16. This is a 17. The BMS came that way. I don't need it. It's okay, right? So let's check the, the power now. And if you get the, the same volts, then you know it's correct. Okay. Here you go. Okay. 64.5, right? It's also the same for the controller, right? See? There you go. All right. So that's how you do it. All right. Um, have fun with your your e-bike builds.